Hey YouTube, it's ICU2 here from How About Not 11. I will have a link to my main channel in an annotation right here. And just click that to be taken to my main channel if you're not already subscribed to that. So basically I'm going to be here talking to you guys today about uh, how to make a basic theme for your uh, iDevice. So in order to create a theme, you're first going to have to make a folder. And now you can name this folder any single thing you want. I'm just going to name it My Theme and then you're good to go and basically you're going to be putting every single thing for your theme inside of this folder now today I'm only going to talk about how to make a background for your iDevice meaning when you're at your springboard you will have that background there so in order to do this you're going to have to have a photo editing software such as Photoshop if you don't have Photoshop and you're on Windows then click inside of uh, this call out here and you will be taken to our other video on how to get uh, Photoshop completely free so once you have Photoshop open you're gonna have to go file new and depending on what device you have you're gonna have to edit the width and the height now for an iPhone or iPod touch it is it is 320 by 480 so 320 being the width 480 being the height and I'm actually gonna show you guys it on the iPad really quick so for the iPad it is 1024 by 768 1024 being the height 768 being the width and I'm just gonna put the resolution at 300 now you can change the resolution it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna leave it at 300 because that's what I like working with and now once you're here you can make it whatever you want so I'm just gonna drag in this right here my graphic here for ICU2 and I'm just gonna open up my folder scroll down until I find it and then all you have to do is just take it and drag it up here on this little bar so it makes a new one and then once it's made a new one you can just select it copy it and then paste it now I'm gonna go more into depth on Photoshop and all the little cool tricks and stuff so you guys will understand that more if you don't already know how to work with Photoshop here in the next few days so then all you're gonna have to do is go to edit transform scale and now you guys can already find pre uh, pre-made images on the internet and you can get those or you can just uh, mess around with an image like what I'm doing and now because I want the whole thing on here I'm gonna try something a little more advanced I'm gonna make it about that big and then I'm just going to and then I'm just gonna fill in this white up here using something called the healing brush tool so like I said I'll talk more about this and all of the cool things in Photoshop later in other tutorials but I'm just gonna go through this really quick okay so now I'm gonna blend it okay so I just finished uh, doing a rough blend now obviously this isn't as good as I could have done but I just wanted to do this really quick so once you're done with that you're just gonna go save as and then you're gonna go to your desktop or wherever you made that folder and mine's my theme and it's on my desktop and you have to save it as a PNG that's the important part also the naming is crucial so what we're gonna name it is wallpaper capital W A L L P A P E R and then click save and then you can just click OK now you can also just drag a photo in there that meets the required uh, size so now that I have this you're gonna have to SSH into your device now if you don't know how to SSH into your device, it's pretty simple. So now that you're in your device, you're going to go back one. And you're going to go to stash. Now once inside of stash, you're going to go to the themes folder. And then all you're going to have to do is take that folder we created and then just drag it into the themes folder. Now I'm going to show you on my iPad. All you're going to have to do is go into Winterboard. And if you don't have Winterboard, you're going to have to download that and install it in Cydia. And if you don't have a themes folder, that's the reason is because you don't have Winterboard installed. And once you open up Winterboard, go to select themes and then pick the theme that you made. So mine's my theme. And I'm just going to press the home button and it will automatically respring. So I will be back when my device has resprung. Okay, so I'm back, guys. And I guess I didn't get the dimensions quite right. But with a little tweaking, I'm sure you can get it to work. There are better ways to do it, obviously. Obviously, what you just do if you have an iPad is to just go into Photos and do it that way. Because then it would actually let you rotate it. But that's beside the point, really. Yeah, the same method works for the iPhone and iPod Touch. It's just instead of the dimensions that I told you for the iPad, it would be 320 by 480. And yeah, guys, so that's just basically the main overview of a basic theme. 
So uh, there will be more videos coming out soon on more complex themes. And I just wanted to put this video out there to give you guys somewhat of a reference if you're a beginner. So guys, this is ICU2 signing out.